Hello, and thank you for choosing Revive Node. Today, we'll be taking a look at how to pre-generate your world. This can come in useful for a lot of SMP type servers. If you don't pre-generate your world, you will see an increase in RAM usage as well as in CPU, as the server has to do a lot of processing power in order to load chunks, especially if you have quite a lot of players. Even if you are just playing casually and you have a handful of friends online, we highly recommend you do this as it can, as again, it can reduce the amount of resources that your server is going to be intaking. To get started, I will be running this on the current latest version of Minecraft 1.19.2. It will be the same process for other versions. You'll find the following plugin, Chunky. Once you click download, we can go ahead back into our server, click file manager, click plugin and drag and drop the plugin into our folder. Once that is ready, you can go back into console and boot up your server. Now that we're in game, we have to run the following commands. First, I highly recommend you run chunky center and then adding your current location. You can also do this by just doing set world spawn and that will set your current position as your world spawn. So when you do chunky spawn, it should provide you the same information back, which is negative 265, 159 for me. It could be different for you. And this especially is helpful if you decide to change your world spawns location. And since we are going to be rendering a radius around the spawn, if you don't have a world spawn and it's in a separate lobby or server, I still highly recommend doing it in the following process. Now we can generate it by doing chunky shape and specifying circle, diamond, square, or anything between. However, that is not super important for us as we're just gonna be generating with Chunky's default radius. After that, we're going to do Chunky radius and I'm gonna go ahead and just set up 750. This is only for tutorial purposes and to ensure you that it's working properly. However, if you are running this on a larger server, I recommend anything from 8,000 to 10,000 blocks, which is usually more than enough for a player base. Then we're gonna go ahead and just click enter. After that, we can do Chunky start and this will start the process. Again, please ensure that you don't have any players while this is processing, as it may increase the overall time for the plugin to finish its process. Hopping into our console, you can see exactly what is happening. Here it's specifying the world it's currently running in, and it's also processing the amount of chunks. So currently it has ran over 4,694 chunks overall, and it is increasing as I speak. It is 52% done, and there's an estimated time of about eight to seven minutes as it's changing and updating. So it can increase, it could lower, depending on what happens in the world. So again, this could highly increase if you have players on, but it can decrease if there's no players at all. And once this is done, it will show you a nice little message at the end. The task has finished for world. And it only took about 8 minutes and 48 seconds. And as you can see, when we go out in full speed, especially in spectator mode, the chunks are actually loading pretty smoothly. And the reason this is loading smoothly is because we decided to pre-generate everything. If I go out past the render distance, you actually see a major difference as chunks here are not loading as fast. And this is what you're preventing from your player base to have to handle. It is a lot better and overall it's just going to help you in the future. So hopefully this video was informative. If you'd like to see any other type of tutorials, please let us know in the comment section. Other than that, we hope you have an amazing day and thank you for choosing Revive Node.